Warlord's Ruin. We speculated about it the other day, but now we have some more information. Provided in-game and on Bungie.net are images of this new dungeon, and they look amazing. We also have text descriptions, a look at the new armor, and possibly the lore of what's happening involving a wish dragon. Let's jump right in. Upon opening the game for the new season, you'll receive a pop-up message about the new activities and additions to the game. One of these involves the new dungeon releasing this Friday. We'll read the text in a moment, but the image can also be seen here, the same image found on Bungie's Fireteam's LFG feature on their website if you create a post for the Warlord's Ruined Dungeon. Here it is, you may get Rise of Iron vibes right away, and you should. This is a Dark Age castle, similar to that of Fellwinter Peak, and something crazy is going on here for sure. It clearly appears to be located on Earth, maybe in the same region as much of our current Warlord lore. Around Fellwinter Peak or Shax's Castle, there's lots of snow in those two locations and the same with this new image. Just from the promo image, it looks like such a breath of fresh air. There's many unique places in Destiny, but if you just looked at this image by itself, you may not even realize it's in Destiny at all. A broken medieval looking location with a castle. We don't know what's going on inside there, is there some secret Rasputin tech or is it just a castle? But from this first image it kind of looks otherworldly in terms of destiny. A nice contrast and throwback to expansions like Rise of Iron. Here's the text descriptions from the badge in-game and the pop-up screen. Uncover buried histories and lingering grudges within a ruined Dark Age castle. So feelings of resentment, anger, or hostility that persist over a long period of time often after the event that caused them has passed. The next text, enter the Warlord's Ruin and banish the Scorn and Taken from wielding Wish Magic. So from that line, we've learned a lot. This is a Dark Age castle. Scorn and Taken are involved in also the Ahamkara, Wish Magic. In another promo image, the House of Kings logo can be seen, a banner out front of the castle. The House of Kings are one of the most unique fallen houses to ever exist. When many began to split and merge their houses, the kings would remain independent. We've encountered them a couple of times before, like in Destiny 1, but they're highly secretive. Over time, they did meet their downfall, though. Aldrin and Fikril basically created the scorn out of the kings. They killed their Kel and kind of took over. So it's interesting to see the remnants of their banners on this Dark Age castle. Did something happen here long ago with the kings? The enemies mentioned in the dungeon are scorn, so perhaps they want revenge and want to raise the king's banner once more from their own scorn army. Maybe the grudge here belongs to them. We previously speculated that Shax's castle may have been a location for the dungeon when we first heard the name. This could still be the case, but some community members like Legos1 on Reddit have made a great point. In their language, German, and some others mentioned in the post, a feminine version of the word warlord is used. So maybe this castle belongs to a female warlord and not Shax at all. Would be a great new story. A castle with a dragon. Amkara. Out of the known warlords, most of them appear to be male from the lore we've had in the past. There was Lady Everdeed, who of course became an Iron Lord, but I don't know if she would have a castle like this, especially considering she has that pacifist colony far out there in the system where we believe she currently is. If you go to Destinypedia and look at the known warlords, you can see a list of these names. Most of them, as mentioned, are male, but at the bottom there's one called The Wake, which is female. And the Destinypedia page says, The Wake was the title given to a risen warlord during the Dark Age. She hoarded supplies to keep her villages well stocked, which drew the attention of the Drifter and his crew. 
The mercenary crew raided one of her storehouses and were able to escape with supplies from within. Now, of course, this is one of the only known female warlords. Bungie could easily make one up for this new story, and that could very well be the case, but I thought I'd just point this out for fun. The fact that this involves an Ahamkara is also great, beyond that of what's going on with Riven and the seasonal story. As it pertains to the dungeon, we don't know much, but the seasonal artifact lore could give us a hint. So I'm going to pick out parts of this card. This information seems to be compiled from a Lightbearer's journal during the Great Hunt when all Amkara were destroyed. It explains wishes, characteristics of these creatures, and their behaviors. Their physical form is not their true form, but a representation. Wishes are granted by the creatures when verbally expressed within their hearing range. They feed on the quantum chaos resulting from altering reality, which allows them to transcend reality itself. Those are some of the basic claims, but at the bottom is where it gets interesting, unverified claims. First up, Ahamkara using light. Reports from old Russia claim Ahamkara wielded the light, but this is unconfirmed. And surviving Ahamkara. There are claims of seven Ahamkara evading and slaying their light bearer pursuers, remaining unaccounted for, though this is believed to be an error. We know Fellwinter Peak was close to the Cosmodrome and Old Russia, so is this new castle as well? Is one of the Ahamkara that escaped and killed their captors trapped here, and what do the House of Kings want with it? Before we wrap this up, in-game you can also see the Dark Age armor set. It's not available in the collections, you can see the name but not the armor, but you can find them in the ornaments section. So here's an image if you'd like to take a look from Destiny Bulletin. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for this video. Some more speculation about the story of Warlord's Ruin, which releases this Friday. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mystery just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.